Okay. Oh my god. My acne is showing the house. But hi. Welcome back to another K-pop monthly review. Um, I don't feel like I'm going to show my face a lot. Um, but I did also want to do an intro where you can see me. But yeah, if y'all like this type of content, make sure to subscribe and like the video so I can know um, to make... I'll probably still make content if even if you're not subscribed so you know but yeah subscribe for more content like this if you like this content you know it's free you can always subscribe in the future also comment your favorite comeback from the month of may because i want to know so this k-pop comeback started off for me may started off with the surfy <laughs> Um, I'm not gonna dive in depth with what's happening with Garam at the at this very moment. Uh, the Seraphim had a great great debut. They debuted it in May, and honestly, I really really liked their um, their title track. Their track their title track was very good. Fearless was an amazing title track for me personally. The Seraphim made, and I feel like definitely Yunjin is gonna be my bias, and she's already kind of is. So I love her very much. Um, love that Chewon and Sakura are there. Um, very much fun, and the way Chewon with the bob, amazing. She another another bob order. What did they be all based on the color you bob? I had some things to say about their concept because they did go for a very um, sexy, I guess, concept like more mature, which we barely see in fourth gen now. Um, but i think the reason is because they were starting to like debut young younger like more younger people now these days and like very like even minors like 15 year olds so maybe that's the problem with the thing i see what they were trying to do and like be different right which is good but they went for a sexy concept and they're underage um girlies in the group so maybe that's the only ish, like concern slash is issue that I have with their concept, but I did very much like it because I used to eat Sistar up a lot, and it's just third gen was very girl crush, and now it's also kind of girl crush. So I, I just needed some change. So I'm glad they brought back the sexy concept, but again, it's very problematic since we have some minors in the group. Anyways, next comeback that I participated in is Texas um, Good Boy Gone Bad. Overall, the album was very good. Although I like, I honestly, for the rest of May, I didn't find myself really listening to the rest of the comeback. I listened to it in one go, and then kind of like I I liked the songs. Like the MV was amazing. First of all, of the title track, amazing MV and everything. But I didn't find myself going back to the album for some reason. Um, I loved Trust Fun Baby. Um, I loved Thursday's Child. It was really good. And I I I liked overall the the whole album, but I didn't really find myself listening to the album willingly for some reason. But if if it came up on my um, because I usually put my playlist on shuffle, but it came up on my shuffle. Um, I I didn't mind um listening to it, but I just didn't find myself like looking for the music for some reason. Um, although I love TXT, I don't know why. But yeah, that's what I thought about um TXT. I totally forgot, but the boys had to come back, and I think it's she's a boss, right? I found myself not liking the, like, kind of like the whole song, <laughs> except for the pre-chorus and the chorus. That pre-chorus has got a grip on me, like the. The way the beat changes on the pre-chorus is just so good how it's broken down and the vocalists are just singing it's so good um although eric wasn't there uh but it's eric is my bias from the boys um i really try i'm really trying to get more into the boys as well but yeah overall i believe the comeback uh the aesthetic of the clip was amazing it was really good um kevin 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 Kevin, Kevin, Kevin looks so good in blonde hair, and I just want, like, I, I'm gagged. So, overall, I really 
like the pre-chorus so much. Uh, that pre-chorus is... They put crack in that and I'm addicted. So, yeah, that's that's the boys for y'all. And next is Hyoyeon, Steve. <laughs> Um, I don't, I haven't had the time to listen to her full album, so I literally only had the chance to listen to her title track. I'm gonna be completely honest, at first I really did not like, um, like, the song. <laughs> I just, I, I couldn't, like, I don't know, it didn't stick to me, but then I came across it, like, it came, it, ke it kept popping up on my For You page, and then one thing led to the other, and... I was just finding myself like being like deep, 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 deep. It's just th that chorus is catchy, but the, like the thing is, nothing else from the the title track really stuck to me. There was nothing really uh, other than the chorus that was stuck in my head, which is good. The MV really ate, but overall, nothing really stuck to me in uh, like the verses, pre-chorus, but really the chorus. Um, she got stuck in my head. Even though I didn't like her in the first in the first listen, so yeah. Next up on my list is Seventeen coming back with Hot as their title track. Overall, Hot was really good. Um, although nothing really stuck to my head again. <laughs> I don't know why, but it's really like something about um me not remembering things but although the no 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 hot 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 like that is really like what stuck to me as well uh the music video was so good it was so uh, entertaining the whole way um i listened to the whole album nothing really stuck to me with 17 maybe this is not the right album for me but this was my first comeback with them um so i was very curious as to what their sound was going to be mm, ash was good like the slow song was very good i don't know but i feel like i really need to dive into 17's discography because it's it's good you know like i feel like because maybe i should listen to the left and right era i don't know which album that was but maybe I, I should listen to the left and right era because left and right was such a bop last but not least we have nct dream that just came back and repackaged um with beatbox I really like the bridge a lot, um, and of course, it, in, in true SM fashion, you know, the bridge is always kind of like the best part of SM songs. Yeah, overall, I really like the repackaged, uh, the aesthetic of it is, it's so down my alley, and uh, especially the white version of the album, it's really good, like the, like, I just still can't get over how they ate that aesthetic up, gave us really late 90s, early 2000s vibes. And yeah, I just can't wait to get the physical copy. Beatbox was a great title track for this um for this comeback. They gave really like a very bubbly pop like summer vibes. <laughs> I just really love the it's it's so like happy. I love the B sides as well. Um my favorite like I, I think I even love it more than the title track itself. My favorites are to my first and on the way um to my first is like it's giving me kind of like mid 2000s song but yeah i just loved it a lot um it's it gives i don't know it gives me very nostalgic vibes and on the way as well it gives off a late 80s early 90s vibe type of song um it was just so good but yeah, overall, this comeback was so good. I love the promotion for this whole thing. I mean, I'm I, obviously I'm going to talk more um, about NCT because they're like my oats uh, in boy groups. But yeah, the promotional like was so good and just um, wholesome the whole time. Like they, they were just like on the socials and posting stories and like they were taking the pictures themselves. And I love how creatively they were very involved with like the get like drawings and like the doodles on the album like they they were the ones that drew that drew that and especially like the digi packs they really like illustrated a lot of things um that are in the digi pack which is very very fun 
um but yeah i think that's all i'm gonna talk about i feel like i really like sped um through all of these yeah we made it to the end of the video anyways thank you all so much for watching today's video if you made it to the end and if you have then make sure to like and subscribe if you want more content like this and also maybe a song rec for 17 to those who listen to 17 because i am really like not disappointed like i'm really sad that i didn't like anything from the recent comeback so yeah peace bye <laughs>